Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. If you have a Model 3, maybe you want a little bit more range. An option to extend that, especially on long road trips, could be coming soon. It was half confirmed by Elon, but also not directly referenced at all. But we do know big things are coming in Tesla software. So I want to talk about Model 3 range mode, possibly coming soon today. If you're excited for that video, drop a like down below. To seriously help me out, hit subscribe so you stay up to date on all the latest electric vehicle Tesla news. So very recently, Elon, sort of out of the blue, tweeted out this Consumer Reports article. Uh, and Consumer Reports, historically, for some context here, actually did not give the recommendation on some Tesla vehicles because they thought they were unreliable. Since then, they've totally revamped their ratings and think that Teslas are great. They recommend them to pretty much everybody. However, they did an article recently about the Model Y and more broadly about Tesla's advantage with batteries and range than everybody else. Now, Elon's tweet is what really caught my attention here because they reference a Model 3, long range of course, getting 350 miles of range on a single charge. And if you just run the numbers real quick, that doesn't add up because number one, you're never getting the 322 advertised miles that Tesla says you're going to get on their website, even in perfect conditions. And number two, that's not rated above 322. So that's the highest. Usually you're gonna get probably about 280 to 300. 350 is a number that nobody has really ever gotten on a Model 3 to date. So already that was a bit confusing. And then there's a follow-up blurb a bit lower in the article that talks about long range mode. And they say that this, although it may degrade your battery a bit faster, is how they achieved 350 miles of range on the Tesla Model 3. Now, as you know, there isn't a range mode on the Model 3 right now. That is a feature exclusive to the Model S and to the Model X that essentially does two things. It reduces the amount of energy that goes to your heating or cooling system, so it's not going to work as effectively and reroutes that to the motors. And if you're in an all-wheel drive dual motor vehicle, it also makes sure that the torque is tweaked to be a bit more even and less power hungry. Even at 100%, there is no way that you're getting 350 miles of range on a Model 3 in its current state. That's just not possible. But with all these upgrades to the Model S and the Model X recently through software, making them more efficient, Tesla last year releasing two power boosts, increasing the acceleration and torque you get on the motors. I don't think long range mode is really that much of a stretch because the technology is here, it's just really not built into the software yet. Again, this could be a mix up, but no one ever has posted about getting nearly that far on a Model 3 in its current state. So perhaps either a hardware update is coming soon and they were loaned a special Model 3, or I think more likely that through software, Tesla has once again found out how to release long range mode. And long range mode, after seeing this article, seems like Elon could be alluding to that coming without explicitly saying, long range mode on the way. So let me know your thoughts about this down below. I think this is incredibly exciting. Aside from the big question of whether or not this is actually coming, it's that if it does, is this gonna be a free upgrade like we've grown accustomed to, or will this be paid DLC? unlocking further functionality from the car you own, similar to the long range all wheel drive acceleration boost from a couple of months back. You can pay 2000 to get a half second off. Maybe you're paying one to 2000 again to get a few extra miles on the same battery. I'm very interested to see how this plays out and I'll keep you updated as we see more, but I have a good feeling about this one. I think long range mode, it's already in the SNX, but it's almost inevitable until we see something like that on the Model 3. So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing well. I'll see all of you in my next video.